So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of the custom Facebook Feed Pro WordPress plugin and show you just how easy it is to use. First, click on the Facebook Feed menu, then click on Connect a Facebook Account. Select whether you want to display a Facebook page or group, and then log into Facebook. Follow the prompts to allow the plugin to connect your account. Then select a Facebook page and connect it in the plugin. You can display posts from any public Facebook pages, not just the one you connect, as you'll see in a moment. To display the feed, grab the custom Facebook feed shortcode and paste it into any post, page, or widget on your website. Now you'll see that the Facebook posts are displayed on that page. To display posts in a widget, simply use the default WordPress text widget. You can change any of the feed settings directly in the shortcode. Here's an example of changing the Facebook ID to display posts from another Facebook page. Now you'll see a second Facebook feed added to the page. Below each post, you have the number of likes, reactions, and comments, along with any comment replies. There's also a share link to share the post across various platforms. It includes a pop-up light box to view photos and videos directly on your site with support for YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook videos, including 360 degree videos and live videos. The feed is also completely responsive and so will adapt to the size of your screen. There's also a load more button at the bottom of each feed to allow you to infinitely load more posts. So every part of the feed is completely customizable. And if I pop back over to the settings page, I'll give you a quick overview of some of the options. I can choose to display posts by just the page owner, by everyone or only by other people, the number of posts to display and how often I want the plugin to check Facebook for new posts, if I head on over to the customize page, I can set some general options on the feed, how many columns to display the post in, which creates a masonry grid layout, the types of posts to display, whether to display a header and how it should look, whether to include the Facebook light box widget at the top or bottom of the feed, along with some styling options for the load more button and the light box. I can also choose to display posts based only on a certain string or hashtag. I can change the layout of my posts and choose which parts of the post to hide or display. I can choose how the posts are styled as a regular post or boxed. I can set a maximum character length on the post text. I can also change the date format or enter a custom format. And I can change the size, width and color of any of the text and links in the feed. I can also choose to reveal the comments by default below each post and how they're displayed, along with a bunch of other options. On the MISC tab, you can add your own custom CSS and JavaScript to the feed, control image sizes, along with a bunch of more advanced options. I can also choose to change or translate any of the text in the feed. So one of the great features of the plugin is that you can use the shortcodes to display as many feeds as you like, and then use the shortcut options to control each feed. So if I go to my WordPress widgets page, I'll paste in a shortcode that I already put together. Here I'm changing the ID, changing the type of post, and a few other options too. You can find a shortcut option by either clicking on a specific setting, or you can see a full list in the documentation section of the Smash Balloon website. So now I'm going to add a second text widget. I'm going to paste in another shortcode. This one is displaying albums from a different Facebook page. So if I go back to the page now, you'll see there's three feeds. The main feed on the left is now displayed in three columns, and there's two feeds on the right, a photos feed and an albums feed. The photos feed is pulling from the photos page on Facebook. You can scroll through each photo in the light box. And as we added a height to the feed, then a scroll bar is automatically applied. The albums feed is set to display the latest album from another Facebook page, and opening the album shows the other photos inside. 
So hopefully this gives you an idea of just how customizable and powerful this plugin is. We're rolling out new updates all the time, so make sure to check out the demo on the website and try your own Facebook page. And if you have any questions at all, then just hit us up on Twitter at SmashBalloon or using the contact form on our website at smashballoon.com.